be baptized in Jesus' name, according to Acts 2 and 38. Be filled with the Holy Ghost and live holy. You will not enter God's kingdom. He told Nicodemus, except I'm in the Bible, y'all. You got to call the Bible alive, but well, that's where I'm going to stay, right in the book. He told Nicodemus, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot. He will not. He shall not enter the kingdom of God. You got to read that. St. John chapter 3, verse 1. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus and ruler of the Jews. Uh -huh. The same came to Jesus by night yes. and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. And I quote it to you. I'm going to read it to you. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Uh -huh. Read on. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Listen. You can't even see it if you're not born again. You can't even comprehend the kingdom of God. What the new birth? Nicodemus thought he could go back in his mother's womb and be born. That's how common minded he was. He said, how can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Jesus told him that which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. You got your flesh birth, birth, birth brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. You got your flesh birth when your mother birthed you. Mm -hmm. Now you need another birth call. Adam going to do something to you that's dead. Mm -hmm. Called sin, baby. Mm -hmm. Adam going to do sin to the world. And sin been killing men ever since then. Mm -hmm. Ever since the God. Man died natural. And they dying spirit. They dead spirit. Mm -hmm. Dead men. Dead women walking. You got no Holy Ghost, you're dead. You're not baptized in Jesus' name, you're not covered. Mm -hmm. My God, you're baptized in Jesus' name, you're covered. Uh -huh. You're in a safe zone to God feed with the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. My God, you ain't baptized in Jesus' name, you're a dead man, dead woman walking. Mm -hmm. That's the Bible. That's right. Jesus said, if any man have not the Spirit of Christ, uh -huh. none of his, you ain't got no Holy Ghost, you ain't mine. That's right. My God, thank God. I know the Bible's uh -huh. all souls of mine. Yeah, he created you. My God, but no, without the Holy Ghost, now the baptism in Jesus' name, you got no identity. That's right. You don't have a name. You got to have a name. Oh, you're the oh, God, neither there's salvation in any other. For there's none other name under heaven Amen. given among men. Whereby we I feel like uh, preaching. Go ahead. God is getting hot up. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. I'm not talking about those lights either. I'm talking about those lights. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God I had a hold of them. Go down the way and told him to simple. Man born of the water and the spirit. Read. Verse 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, mm -hmm. except a man be born of water and what? And of the spirit. What? He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Give me Mark 16 and 15. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all turn there with me. Holy the Holy Ghost changing up stuff. Listen, turn to St. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. Mm -hmm. Whatever you do, young people, those viewing us on Ustream, those viewing YouTube, whatever you do, Believe the Bible you got in your hand. My God, if you're not going to believe the Bible, throw it in the trash can. If you're not going to believe it, get it out your house. I wouldn't even read it if I didn't want to believe it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Look what the Bible said about this being born again. Read, read it. And he said unto them, Go ye into all the world. He told his disciples, Go ye, Mark 16 and 15. Go ye into all the world. And do what? Preach the gospel to preach every preacher. The preach the gospel, not preach money. That's right. He didn't tell them to preach a blessed plan. Oh, you Your season, baby. That's right. He didn't tell a preacher to preach that. He said, preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. And you can't sing the gospel. Mm -hmm. You sing spiritual songs. People say, mm -hmm. gospel singers. There ain't no such thing as a gospel singer. Right. You preach the gospel, you don't sing. <laughs> you sing spiritual songs. I'm in the book. Wait, I'm in the book now. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. Read. He that believeth. Look, look. He that believeth. He that believeth. Made it personal. Mm -hmm. Young people, it's personal. You don't have to believe nothing I'm saying. It doesn't matter. You don't have to believe it. It's personal. He said, you make the choice. 
This is not like the army was in the 60s, 50s, 60s when I grew up. They drafted me in the military. Now it's a volunteer army. Didn't have no choice when I come along. Got a little card in the mail, classified class 1A. Told you when to report, catch the bus, go be examined, and threw you in the army. You didn't have no choice. But now you got a choice. You can volunteer if you want them, and you don't have to go. Thank you, Jesus. Same thing with serving God. You don't have to serve God. You don't have to go to church. You don't have to do anything. You can do anything you want to do. That's right. But you can take it to the bank. God going to judge you one day. Mm -hmm. He said that now. Oh, yeah. But see, it, it behooves us to obey the word of God. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. Look at the Bible. Y'all follow along. He that believeth and what? He is baptized. He that believeth and he is baptized shall be what? Shall be saved. Now what we're going to do? Call that a lie? He didn't say, yeah, sinner's prayer. Right. Let me bust that up while I'm on the air. <laughs> so don't nobody tell people to do a sinner's prayer. All you preachers are watching this broadcast or your members, go back and tell you, Pastor. All you sinner's prayer people, you are lying to preacher, you are lying from the pits of hell. Amen. That's right. Uh -huh. Lie. Amen. God ain't never told a preacher to tell folks. Repeat a sinner's prayer. Mm -hmm. Find it in the Bible. That's right. It's not there. Teach. Stand up, lift your hands. Accept the Lord's your personal Savior. Lie. That's right. Mm -hmm. Deathbed confession. Lie. That's you right. live like hell all you want. You mess around get on that deathbed. You ain't going in there. That's right. That's right. And you'll know it. You're going to know it before you draw your last breath to mm -hmm. right. You're going to know that preacher lied to you. I tell you the truth. You got to do more than that. You got to repent. Amen. You got to turn from that ungodly sin. Right. Be baptized in Jesus' name mm -hmm. to get rid of your sin. And then he'll fill you with the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with that? Nothing. What's wrong with obeying the word and getting your sins out of the way? Thank you, Jesus. Nothing. Read on. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Look what the Bible said. The Bible said this. We didn't write it. The Bible said he that believed. He told the preacher. What I'm doing now, preaching the gospel. He said, preach the gospel to every creature. And if a person come up tonight and say, I believe the word. Now I baptize you in Jesus' name tonight. <laughs> See, I baptize 24 hours a day. Amen. Call me 3 in the morning, I get up and come baptize. Amen. We don't sit no, we're doing it in the spring of the year. You might die in the fall. That's right. <laughs> I get this thing to your bed. That's right. Ain't mess around with that. Every denomination there. Wait till the spring of the year. Ooh, sit hallelujah. Months, out all that crazy. Hey. The Bible says the day you hear my voice, hard not your heart. That's right. My God, if somebody heard the word of God and called me to preach right. you preached last night. And it's three o'clock in the morning. Say, God woke me up and said, You better get in the war. I'm getting out of that bed, coming to this church, and you going in the war. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Like the Bible says. Thank you, Jesus. Go ahead. Do it right now. You're going to do it. You're going to do it. Amen. Do it right. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. He that believeth and he is baptized, you will be saved. Amen. Now, the, here's the people that will be damned. He that believeth not shall be damned. That's the person that says, I'm not going to get baptized in Jesus' name. Well, the Bible just told you what's happening. It ain't me. Don't get mad with me. The Bible says you're damned. And you can't change it. So don't go in the water in Jesus' name. Do what you want to do. Play church all you want. Yeah. The, every time you open Mark 16 and 15, he's going to tell you you're damned. Yeah. So you better not to read that. He's going to condemn you every time you look at it. Right. You got to do something about your belief. All right. You got to be baptized in Jesus' name. Look, let me show y'all something. You better get me Acts chapter 10. I'm going to give you people watching us on YouTube and Ustream and new visitors here. I'm going to show you some, some shocking revelation. Get me uh, Acts chapter 10 where I the Holy Ghost fell on them while Peter preached. Acts chapter Acts. 10, verse 44. Acts chapter 10 and verse number 44. Acts chapter 10 and verse 44. <laughs> now, begin to read. While Peter yet spake these words. Now listen. This is Peter preaching to the Gentiles. <laughs> this is when God opened the door of salvation to the Gentiles. Peter had the keys. Authority. And God 
sent an angel to this man's house, Cornelius. 